Hello everybody, this is Lynette with the Skin Candy. Thank you so much for joining us again on another one of our Soapy Time Adventures. Welcome to our workshop today. We are going to be working on masculine fragrances, masculine soaps, and we just posted a short of uh, just a short cutting video of the soap that's kind of camouflage that I'm calling On the Hunt. And it was a mix of Drakkar and Tobacco and Bay Leaf which it smells yummy. It, the scent retention in it today is even better than it was yesterday. So i am got high hopes for it. it. It was a new fragrance. We've never done that blend before. And I'm hoping that you guys will really like it. The next soap we're gonna be working on today is actually another one by Aztec Candle Supply or candlemaking.com. And it is their uh, Abercrombie and Fitch or Finch whatever fragrance called fierce so I have it I'll leak the this box below I have my fragrance right here <clears throat> the colors we're gonna be using today are really it's just two colors with some additives so this is sister golden hair surprise this turns a really cool looking tan color in soap and this is Indigo Girls. And these are all by Mad Micas. And then with this is Indigo Girls. And I mix some titanium dioxide to it. Because I wanted a little bit of a contrast. And then this is Indigo Girls. Mixed with some activated charcoal. Because I wanted like a dark navy blue. So my main base is going to be the lighter blue. And then I'm going to be doing a... Probably depending on how this fragrance oil behaves... I think I'm going to be doing an in the pot swirl with the other three colors of the dark navy blue, the tan, and the kind of the royal indigo girls blue. So to my lye water, we're working at room temperature today, which down here today is about 70 degrees. So I mixed everything yesterday and let it sit overnight, and I like to soap at room temperature. And I don't have a problem with false trace coming at soaping that low, so that works for me. Um, in here, I just have sodium lactate, my distilled water, and my sodium hydroxide. And then to my oils here, this is just our regular recipe. Uh, olive oil, coconut oil, palm, cocoa, shea, and castor. And then to this, I've added some yummy additives, some colloidal oats which is great for if you have dry skin or skin conditions, especially this time of year in Utah where we live, it's really dry, so it's great for your skin. And also some kale and clay, which added some great slip to the soap. And I, to be honest, can't live without it. So those are the only additives we're adding to our soaps today. So I think we've got everything that we need. And so without further ado, let's get soaping.
spatula love. I'm just going to put it in the middle and around and one more time. Sometimes I don't do anything. Sometimes I do more swirls. It just depends on what I'm in the mood for. Look at that. Oh, look at that color. I love that color. I'm excited to see what this is going to turn out to be. And I'm just going to pour it in. of the rest of it and it did really loosen up trace so I am going to let this sit for a few minutes and then I'll come back and add the rest of the soap Okay, we're gonna try. It's a little, still a little bit wiggly, but it has set up a little bit, so we're gonna try to add. Um, not going to do anything terrific on this top. Um, I've noticed that with my masculine smells, my masculine soaps, the preference is just low top, not a lot of um, detail, you know, not high top, not some swoops. So we're probably just gonna do a figure eight top on the top. And call it a day. I'm gonna just leave it just like that. I like it. I think it looks like, I wouldn't say a Picasso, but you know, maybe, maybe, maybe Van Gogh's Starry Night. Just kidding, no. I would not ever even think that I would be near good enough to be something compared to him. But it does seem to have the same color theme. So we might just call this Starry Night. This is just a skewer stick that I picked up. I think I picked it up at the dollar store. Or I guess it's now the dollar 25 store. All right. So there we go. Can you see that? Look at that. Oh my gosh, that's so gorgeous. Oh, oh, I can't wait to cut it. So we'll be back in just a few minutes. 24 hours for me, just a few seconds for you for the cut. Hey everybody, it's Lynette with the Skin Candy. We are going to go ahead and cut this masculine soap that we made yesterday and it's the Fierce Type by Abercrombie and Finch. Okay, I have people here telling me, oh, Finch. Like, never mind. <laughs> it's a Friday. So, made this yesterday. Ooh, I like how it's coming out. Nice and clean. Oh. oh, look at the swirls on that. Look at that. Look at that. And if you remember, I didn't do anything with the top. I just kind of sprinkled everything on there and just left it because it looks so good. It looks so good. Do you want to cut it? 
Do you want to cut it? Take it out of the middle. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that was in the pot squirrel. Look at the top. Look at the, the side. The side? Oh, it's like a landscape of mm -hmm. the sky. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I'm having the hardest time holding anything. Look, I just gouged it. Ah! That will be my piece. <laughs> that will be. Oh, well, that was the one I dropped earlier. Jeremy was like, well, I guess I got me some soap. Yep, so this was in the pot squirrel. I really like it. Eyes and a little smile. A little cricket grin. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was just thinking. Uh, Jack Skelet Skeleton or whatever his name is. Oh my gosh, that's funny. That one was a good one. It was like clean. And I know it came out clean. Except for there's one little edge that kind of came out funky. And there's that one. Oh my gosh, I need to stop. All right. So, there you go. There's the soap. And thanks so much for watching. Bye.